my name is Ghulam Rasool and today I will explain about carbon dating or more precisely carbon 14 dating. First of all, we need to understand the definition of carbon dating. Measuring the decay of certain type of carbon atom in the fossil of previously existed species to determine when it was last alive on earth. Now two different questions arise from this. What certain type of carbon atom and second how it got into the fossil. Carbon has three isotopes. Carbon 12, carbon 13 and carbon 14. Carbon 12 is the most stable whereas carbon 13 is rare and carbon 14 has a unique property that it is radioactive and it emits radiation. And now the answer to the second question that how carbon 14 produced and after production how it got into the fossil. It all started in the uppermost layer of earth where the cosmic rays of the sun bombarded the neutrons and protons of nitrogen 14 atom converted this atom into carbon-14 isotope. This carbon-14 atom behaves just like a carbon-12 atom but it has a unique property. It is unstable and emits radiation. After the production of this carbon-14 atom, it reacts with environmental oxygen to form carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide containing the carbon-14 atom along with other carbon dioxide molecules is consumed by a plant. This plant uses this carbon dioxide to build macromolecules. Uh, other organisms like sheep feed on this plant and the carbon-14 becomes the part of their bodies as well. Scientists have found the half-life for this carbon-14 atom. The half-life or carbon-14 atom is 5730 years. Half-life is defined as the amount of time required to reduce in half of its parental amount. For example, if a plant dies today with number of 10 carbon-14 atoms in it, then after 5730 years, there will be only 5 carbon-14 atoms. However, carbon-12 atoms will be the same, so we can compare the amount of carbon-14 and carbon-12 atoms to estimate the age of the plant. This method is very useful for the scientists to estimate the age of different fossils. However, future scientists will have different issues with this method. This is due to the excessive pumping of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by the human activities. Also, the effect of nuclear tests in the mid 20th century. Click the video on the screen to learn more about chemistry. See you in the next video.